Connie Stevens took Hollywood by storm in the late 1950s as a triple threat. She could sing, act, and exude glamour unlike any other star. With alluring charisma and girl-next-door charm, Connie won fame on TV and the pop charts while becoming a silver screen sensation. But at 84, this beloved icon now requires assisted living after suffering health setbacks in recent years. Join Faxverse as we dive into Connie's sensational life story, which continues to inspire her family and fans. Early Fame and Rocky Marriages Connie Stevens's road to stardom began in Brooklyn, where she was born Conchetta Ingolia in 1938. Music surrounded her growing up. Her mother Eleanor performed with jazz groups, while her father Peter drummed under the stage name Teddy Stevens. After her parents split up, Connie lived with her grandmother and then joined her dad in Los Angeles as a teen. By age 15, Connie sang in an all-girl quartet and landed her first film role in 1957's Drag Strip Riot. A cascade of opportunities followed, including appearances on Sugarfoot and Maverick for Warner Brothers Television. Her lively duet, Cookie Cookie, Lend Me Your Comb, with 77 Sunset Strip star Ed Burns, became a 1959 chart topper. Connie's big break arrived via Warner's new detective series, Hawaiian Eye, which cast her as photographer Cricket Blake. For four seasons from 1959 to 63, Connie showcased her effervescent charm and impressive pipes while performing musical numbers. Off screen, she recorded pop hits like the 1960s 16 Reasons and made movies for Warner Brothers, including Parrish and Susan Slade. Just 24 years old in 1963, Connie had risen to fame as a magnetic triple threat entertainer, but her personal life proved more turbulent. In 1963, she married actor James Stacy, who landed a role in The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, but their union lasted just three years due to Stacy's abusive behavior. Following her 1966 divorce, Connie wed crooner Eddie Fisher in 1967. Eddie came with some serious baggage. He had been previously married to Debbie Reynolds and Elizabeth Taylor. Connie gave birth to daughters Jolie and Trisha before splitting up from Fisher after only two years together. Left a single mother of two toddlers in 1969, Connie later suggested Eddie's substance abuse issues and infidelity torpedoed their marriage. But she refrained from disparaging him, once calling Eddie, quote, the nicest ex-husband. While still in her early 30s, Connie had already experienced enormous success along with two failed marriages. But her focus shifted to raising young daughters Jolie and Trisha as Hollywood's newest single mom. Raising her daughters as a single mom Following two brief marriages, Connie became a single mother after divorcing Eddie Fisher. With two young daughters to provide for, she worked diligently to balance parenthood with showbiz. Connie accepted Las Vegas performing gigs and acted in films like 1969's The Sex Symbol to keep the family financially stable. Her daughters frequently joined Connie on the road during this period. Jolie described their lifestyle back then as vagabond-like, always traveling from one performance venue to the next. As she recalls it, they didn't exactly live a glamorous first-class lifestyle. It was more just making ends meet. She said her mom worked tirelessly as a single parent to provide for the family. But Connie always ensured her daughters felt loved, despite her hectic schedule. She happily brought Jolie and Trisha on stage to incorporate them into her act. She also offered constant encouragement as the head of a humble but happy household. Jolie has said that over the years, her mom has constantly reminded her what an amazing person she is and how proud Connie is to be her mother. Even when totally swamped out with work, Connie always made sure to be an affectionate, hands-on parent. By the 70s, Connie achieved solo success with her smash single, Keep Growing Strong, and regular appearances on television staples like The Love Boat. But raising kind, confident daughters always took priority. Connie always kept an iron-tight bond with Jolie and Trisha. As Jolie tells it, they were always a close-knit trio facing any challenge together. Without any spouse by her side, Connie took on the daunting challenge of raising two daughters in the sizzling spotlight of Hollywood. Jolie described Connie as an affectionate, generous, incandescent spirit of a woman, emphasizing her unwavering motherly warmth. That beautiful spirit sustained her precious mother-daughter relationship in the decades after Connie became a single mom. 
Ongoing Health Problems Connie Stevens faced her first major health scare in 2016 when she suffered a massive stroke at age 78. While dining at a restaurant, Connie suddenly lost control of the entire left side of her body. She was rushed to the hospital and remained there for over two weeks, initially unable to walk or properly move due to paralysis. Recovering from the severe stroke required intensive physical rehabilitation to regain mobility and motor skills like walking. Connie relied on daily occupational and speech therapy to relearn how to perform basic tasks without limitation. She recounted in a subsequent interview that she had been in the hospital for about 16 days and that she couldn't walk or move her entire left side. But she fought back from the stroke. Her mobility improved through extensive therapy and support from her daughters, Jolie and Trisha. But the health scare left lingering effects, including left-sided weakness that required using a walker. While Connie progressed significantly during her recovery, the incident underscored her general physical decline at an advanced age. Osteoarthritis makes walking difficult and painful for the 84-year-old star. She also experiences fatigue, memory lapses, and vision issues common during one's 80s. Due to these ongoing age-related health problems, Connie transitioned to an assisted living community in recent years. She lives in a comfortable, supervised environment with 24-7 care available. Simple pleasures like enjoying her favorite Chick-fil-A sandwich keep Connie content. Daughter Jolie confirms that despite requiring additional assistance lately, Connie maintains a spirited optimism. She also mentioned that Connie refers to Chick-fil-A as the Lord's chicken and has often expressed her dislike for salad, stating, if I'm going out, I'm going out happy. While confined to a wheelchair during her bad days, Connie stays positive and makes the most of quality time with Jolie, Trisha, and loved ones. Her famously upbeat personality persists at age 84, even as health issues demand lifestyle changes. After decades of living independently, Connie now depends on thoughtful care from others because of her ongoing medical problems. Connie Stevens' legacy lives on. As her health has declined, Connie Stevens no longer stands in the spotlight. But the star's legacy shines brightly through her extensive career accomplishments and tight-knit family. Connie's rise from teen performer to multi-talented sensation made her a consummate entertainer for over 60 years. And she raised two successful daughters as a devoted single mother. At 84, she continues spreading joy while living in assisted living. According to Jolie, she cherishes their frequent visits along with simple pleasures like her favorite food. While Connie now lives quietly, her trailblazing career inspires upcoming generations of aspiring entertainers. And most importantly, Connie's loving bond with family endures as her fame has faded. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Connie Stevens and her legacy? Let us know in the comments section below.